hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i am going to be showing you how to install visual studio code on android i'm going to be showing you how to download it install it set it up create a project with it and host it on a live server okay so um this is going to be a straight to the point tutorial please make sure you watch this video till the end to understand how the whole thing is done and please at the end of this video if you find it useful make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications and um without wasting much of your time let us get to the video hello guys welcome back like i said earlier this is a tutorial video on how to install vs code on android so um if you remember the last video i posted I posted a video on how to install Kali Linux on Android device. So um, I'm going to be using that Kali Linux now to, to, to give us a tutorial on how to install VS Code. So um, as you can see, I'm logged into my Kali Linux terminal now. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm trying, I'm going to connect, okay? I'm going to connect through VNC. And um, after connecting to the VNC server, I'm going to proceed to the installation of VS Code, okay? So just like I showed you in the previous video, so make sure to go and watch it. If you haven't watched it now, um, make sure you go and watch the video. It is going to be showing at the top right corner of your Android phone. Click on it and go and watch it. It is a video on how to install Kali Linux and use it on Android. All right. So, um, okay. I'm just going to click on enter now and um, this should connect to VNC. Okay. I'm going to wait for this to load now loading loading okay and i'm going to acquire wake clock click on acquire wake clock so that my terminal doesn't just close unexpectedly like that let that always run in the background of course allow because um visual studio code actually you know takes a little bit of ram um, ram storage so please make sure you have enough space on your android phone and make sure you have enough ram storage all right to spare so that this works perfectly without lagging all right so um the next thing we're going to do now is um we're going to open our browser okay in the last video i showed you how to install firefox browser in kali linux so after launching your browser the next thing you're going to do is you're going to search for vs code okay on the search bar you're going to search for vs code so just like i've searched for vs code a page like this should show up click on the downloads okay <clears throat> click on vs code downloads all right so you're going to click on downloads and you're going to wait for it to load now after it has after the page has successfully loaded you're going to scroll down okay scroll down a little bit and as you can see there is a windows icon there is a dot deb dot rpm and the um, and mac icon right there so you're going to let me zoom in now just like i have zoom in as you can see in the dot deb under the dot deb file it says debian and ubuntu kali linux is a debian <coughs> operating system so you're going to come to dot deb and you're going to click on the arm version of your um, of your system mine is arm version 32 as you can see right there on the icon dot deb arm version 32 if yours is arm 64 you click on arm 64 all right so mine is arm 32 so i'm going to be downloading the 32 bit version of vs code but if your system is 64 bits you're going to be downloading the 64 bit version of vs code all right i hope you understand this so um, i'm downloading the m32 version all right so um as you can see getting started thanks for downloading vs code so if you click on that m32 or m64 your download should start and as you can see so um my download has finished the next thing i'm going to do now is um i'm going to minimize my browser now I'm going to minimize it so let me just minimize then i'm going to launch my terminal okay i'm going to launch launch my my xfc terminal <clears throat> so i'm just going to quickly click on the terminal icon right there all right and um, i'm going to sh shift this to the middle now okay so let me zoom in if i type ls as you can see <clears throat> in the home page there is a download folder right there so you're going to change your directory into down download folder because um automatically firefox is going to save the downloaded file in the download folder okay so to go to the download folder you're going to be using the command cd downloads 
cd downloads and now we are in the downloads folder and if i type ls which means list again ls and as you can see we have a new file right there which is the code version 1.75 amhf.deb as you can see right there so i'm going to copy this now i'm going to copy okay we're going to copy the name and um now we're going to proceed to the installation okay so to install the file if you're not using a root terminal you're going to be using sudo okay sudo just like i have typed here but if you're using a root terminal just like me you're going to be using the command apt install directly without using sudo okay but if you're not using a root terminal please make sure you write sudo before apt install okay then dot forward slash the name of the file which is code dash dash dot deb okay and um the file should begin installing and I'm going to click on yes to install and um yes and you're going to wait for installation to be completed okay this is going to take about three to four minutes I just I fast forwarded the video okay so now it has been successfully installed the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to go to the application folders and we're going to make a little bit of change to our VS code application so to do that you're going to type the command cd forward slash user forward slash share forward slash applications okay and that command should take us to the application folder so if i type ls now it is going to show a list of all the applications that is installed on this operating system so this file right here code.desktop the file code.desktop right there that is the vs code file okay so that is the file we want to edit so to edit that file we're going to be using the command nano code desktop nano code desktop okay and um yeah a page like this should open so what you want to do is you want to come to the exec exec line right here ex execute the execution line right here and in the execution line you want to write um dash dash no dash sandbox okay so after this exec is called to force slash user force slash share force slash code force slash code you're going to leave a space then you're going to type dash dash no dash sandbox just like i have shown it in this video dash dash no dash sandbox all right no sandbox and um you're going to type ctrl x to exit from here and you're going to click on yes to save the modified folder okay save the modified buffer yes which is why you're going to type y and um, that is it so the next thing we're going to do now is we're just going to come to our application bar and um we're going to run vs code and see how the thing goes okay so application in your application you can locate vs code in development and you can locate it in you know all applications so i'm going to click on all applications and um, i'm going to scroll down now and look at vs code i'm going to scroll down and look at vs code there it is visual studio code right there visual studio code so you're going to click on that file you're going to click on the application and um i'm going to just click on it and it should be launched in you know it should be launched with time so let's wait for the application to boot up now okay so here it is visual studio code welcome you're going to see this welcome page right here okay you can just close that now um open the folder icon right there and click on open folder okay now this is to create a project this is how you create a project on vs code i'm just showing you how to create a project on vs code okay you are done with the installation now creation of project you're going to create a new project right there just like i'm doing here and you're going to name the project okay i want this project to be saved in my desktop folder that is why i am on desktop here okay you're going to create a new project and um let me zoom let me make this page big okay let me maximize the page i'm going to maximize this now so that we can all see what i'm talking about maximize and um, after naming the file i named the file tutorial okay and um, you're going to click on open so now a new file should come here which is the tutorial file as you can see right there so if you click on that file you're going to be seeing let me click on the file again 
click open yeah right there you're going to be seeing some icons you're going to click on the first icon which is that is the the creation of um, a project icon okay so you're going to name your project what do you want to name the project i'm going to name this project index.html okay index.html at first i i wanted to name it youtube.html but i thought it wouldn't make sense okay so i'm just going to name it index.html index dot html now i'm naming i'm giving it the dot html extension because i want to write an html code give it extension according to the code you want to write okay so i'm waiting for the file to finish creating now do you trust this file yeah i trust the file it is my file i created it and um, i want to work on it so trust your file if you okay yes i trust the action trust the authors okay now the project folder has been opened index.html so i'm going to write a little bit of code now i'm going to fast forward it so code 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 okay so when you're done with your 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 project your code or whatever and you know you want to test it on a live server to be sure that you know what you're doing or to check what you're doing if it is okay all right what you're going to need to download is a local extension called um live server okay so to download that extension you're going to um as you can see in my cursor right here you're going to click on this extension file and you're going to search for live server okay live server l-i-v-e server okay live server that is what you're going to be searching for okay live server so i'm going to wait for this to load now live server should be open in a you know in a little bit of time yeah there it is live server so you're going to click on that and you're going to install that extension you're going to install live server okay so as you can see it is installing and um i'm going to wait for the installation to be completed now yeah it has been installed so after live server has been installed now you can head back to your code okay you can head back to your code so i'm back to my code now index.html i'm going to click on that and I'm you're going to right click on your on your project okay you're going to right click on your project I just made a little bit of finishing touch right there so you're going to right click on your project and you're going to click on open with live server okay open with live server so live server is going to launch this project in a local in a local host as you can see it has been launched in in the local port 5500 okay five five zero zero so you, what you're going to do now is you're going to open your browser i'm going to open my firefox browser back again open your browser and um, you're going to search for that local host okay local host local host ratio five five zero zero you're going to click on enter i'm going to wait for it to load up all right so i'm going to wait for this to load now and as you can see the heading says based in tech on youtube this is just a tutorial and the body says this is just a tutorial video on how to install vs code on an android device on an android device so that is the the simple and short code i just wrote there so um that is going to be it for this video okay this is just what i wanted to show you how to install vs code on android and and you know work on a project so please do not forget to always shut down your server from your tamox terminal after you're done using you know your operating system so to do that just the same way you started the server you're going to stop the server by using the command vnc server dash q ratio one
So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything you do not understand in the comment section below. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.